Now in the Champions League quarterfinals, Juventus uh, prohibitive favourites uh, four to one on to get past Ajax in the quarterfinals. Uh, first leg, uh, April the 10th in Amsterdam. Uh, that's 12 days away uh, on Cristiano Ronaldo's injury. Uh, his club manager Allegri had this to say. He started moving again, but caution is needed. He'll return when he's at his best, and there's no longer danger of a relapse. So let's bring in Dr. Marcotti, shall we? Uh, Gab, I know you're not a doctor, but you are good at reading between the lines. What, what's your suspicion? Will he be a part of that first leg in 12 days' time? I would tend to lean towards no, in the sense that the word coming from, uh, from Juventus is that obviously they're going to assess him closer to the time. But uh, they're very clear on, on the fact that Ronaldo's happy to play through pain. He's done that before. But what he won't do is, and Allegri said this as well, it's better to miss one game than one month. Um, they're not, they, this is a two-legged affair. Uh, they would rather, if there's even the slightest risk of re-injury, uh, they would much rather sit him out of the first leg and then have him there for the return leg. Uh, and look, and without disrespecting Ajax, Juventus certainly feel that you know, they have the team, even without Cristiano, to get through the first leg and give themselves a, a good shot at qualifying with Cristiano in the return leg. Well, you know when we talk Ronaldo, we're contractually obliged to oh. talk some Lionel Messi too. He had some interesting words to say yesterday about the national team. When I made the decision to return, there were many who criticised the decision. My six-year-old son asked me, Dad, why do they crucify you in Argentina? <laughs> I tell him, it's just a handful of people. I've shown my desire to play for Argentina and don't need to prove this to anyone. Uh, Ali, it, it continues to beg a belief that there, there are any doubters at all, but it's, a, it's complicated. First of all, uh, Lionel Messi's six-year-old son is very well versed. Yes, he uh, is. Utilized in terms like crucifying, yeah. which in, at times is what has happened with Lionel Messi in Argentina. The, the truth is, and people may not want to hear this, but Lionel Messi, incredibly, is more appreciated <laughs> outside of Argentina right. than he is in Argentina. Now there is a whole background to this. There is an obsession with Maradona that has been there for years, years and years, and that will continue with some people. Some people look at Lionel Messi as a corporate superstar, as a, not a real Argentina, as a guy who's been gone from Argentina for a long time. Whatever the case may be, you cannot deny his talent, you cannot deny his, his accomplishment. And I appreciate what he's saying. You know what? Whoever those people that talk and, and, and don't appreciate what I've done for my country, so be it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to continue to play because it's what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. He wants to represent his country, and I respect him for that because he could just take the easy way out simply like Iguain did and say, I don't want any part of this. He knows that he's going to be in the middle of every pressure cooker match that Argentina is going to face, and he is going to be at the center of that attention, and he wants to be a part of it. Good luck to him. But a, a six-year-old son's uh, myst mystifying reaction is, is justified, isn't it? Is it not? I mean... It... Well, he does seem... Yeah, as Ali said, it, there just seems to be this infatuation with what Maradona was able to do. Right. And Argentina had success in, in the Messi era. In comparison, in the World Cup, certainly, they haven't had uh, that success. But fair play to him. I mean, as Ali said, it's easy to just go... In fact, most people would probably go, I've had enough right. of this. He but, came he, back. but he's a class individual, isn't he? I mean, how many times has he missed games for, for mm. Barcelona? Hardly any. There was the friendly against Venezuela that they mm. lost. Mm. He was there playing in it. Why the hell was he playing a friendly uh, when he's got some big games coming up for the club? The guy's committed. Mm. Stevie? I mean, if you, ever, <coughs> if you ever needed proof of commitment, this is it. Mm. Because you're basically stepping on the field. And you know, unless you get a hat trick... Unless, unless your team wins, mm. you know that you get that. And to, to, to have the stomach mm. to think that every time you step on the field, you will do exactly what they think you can't mm. do, takes, I tell you what, it takes some stomach that and, 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 and to that point, people just have a selective memory about Lionel Messi and what he has done or not done with Argentina. They seem to focus on the, on the things that he has come up short on. Mm. Ignoring the fact that Argentina has been in those positions because of him yeah. and because of his performances. You, you just mentioned a hat-trick. It was his hat-trick away from home against Ecuador that put Argentina into the World Cup yep. last time around. And people just kind of dismiss that. There's a lot of that in Lionel Messi's career. They just people, for some odd reason, have a very easy way of 
somehow saying, you know what, that's not important enough. We just want to see you doing it in the World Cup final. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Yeah. Messi and Barcelona back in action this weekend as La Liga returns. And remember, Barcelona all but have it wrapped up. Ten points ahead of Atletico Madrid with Real Madrid a further two points back. For more, sign up now for ESPN+.